So there was a paper just published actually that was a pros- it was literally just published like a week ago in in the Journal of Frontiers in Nutrition. So a very very well respected journal, and it it was a prospective study that to the best of our ability scrutinized dietary habits in the United States from 1800. And the lead author has the last name Lee, L-E-E. So again, that was United States Dietary Trends Since 1800. If someone goes to scholar.google.com and types that in, it'll probably be the first hit. What they found is that the consumption of saturated fats is actually inversely associated with the onset of chronic diseases. And to say that another way, as we've been experiencing diabetes and heart disease and Alzheimer's disease, et cetera, we've over the same time span have been eating less and less and less saturated fat. Well, that's pretty difficult to reconcile with the prevailing theory, which is, I would say, the lazy one, that saturated fat is causing all of these diseases. It is simply verifiably false. There are even clinical studies that have looked at um, the explicit intervention of adding more saturated fats into diets versus more um, seed oil fats. And the saturated fats appear to be um, not only not harmful, but maybe even beneficial. So, yeah, so I don't believe there's any evidence to suggest the microbiome will enhance ketogenesis. Um, And uh, no, uh, the microbiome will not secrete ketones. However, they do secrete short chain fatty acids. Um, and, and, uh, like um, butyrate uh, in particular, or, or propanoic acid. So these are the, what's called short chain fats. They're very, very short, kind of like a ketone, although ketone's not technically a fat, if not technically a fatty acid. Um, but it will make these short chain fats that can get into the blood and kind of act like ketones do, frankly. So that, that there's a, a little bit of there, while they're, again, not making ketones, but making short chain fats, which are almost analogous to a ketone. Yeah, I, I'm moderately active on social media, um, and particularly Instagram. I try to put out one or two videos a week, and they're always just about a minute or two, purely about metabolic health. And I also have a blog, and people can find that at gethealthhlth.com. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points. From the website, doctorstotrust.com, You can view the summary notes and share or print the PDF of those notes.